Hi guys, so today's video is a get ready with me video where I'm going to show you guys how to create this easy Indian wedding guest look. So we're going to start with some concealer, just apply it around the eyes, nose, chin and blend, blend, blend. So today's look literally took me like 10 minutes to create and it's super easy because it included draping my sari as well. So yeah, anyone can do this. So after concealer, I'm just going to use my Hera foundation cushion all over the face and neck. I really, really love how light this is. It feels super light on the skin and it just looks really 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 natural which is why I love this. I have no idea what's going on with my face here so let's move on to eyeshadow. So this Smashbox palette is my current favorite for the festive season. All the shades are just really shiny and pretty and the best part is that you can apply them with your fingers so you don't really need a brush or any of that so it's just super pigmented, super gold and it just feels like gold foil on your eyes don't you think so? Then I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And now I'm going to use some kajal. So I can't remember the last time I used kajal. It's not something I use often, but I just love how it looks with Indian outfits. So I'm going to use it today. Then just add some mascara onto your lashes. Some blush. And now for my brows, I'm using Browsings, but I had to thread my brows yesterday, sadly, because Umang isn't coming to Bombay for a while. Umang, if you're watching this, come to Bombay. And for those of you who are wondering who that is, this is Umang, aka my brow queen. I've been waxing my brows with her for a while and I love, love, love how they look when she does them. So Umang, come back. Moving on to my lips. So I'm just going to use this pink shade and I'm just going to lightly dab it on. And then I'm going to follow it up with my chubby stick. But I still want it to look really like fresh and flush. So I'm just going to dab it once with the tissue. Ta-da! Now the last makeup product we're going to use is a highlighter. So I'm just going to put some onto my cheekbones and my collarbones. Yes, I like to highlight my collarbones. Then for my hair, I'm just using this L'Oreal styling product, just working it into my damp hair and working with my fingers till I'm happy. This is one of my favorite products for short hair. It's just really easy to work with. It's not hard like gel, so your hair looks natural and it's still soft and not stiff. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite hair product. And now it's time to change. So I'm pretty good with draping a sari. I just usually need a little help with the pleats. So in comes mummy and through the wrong door, nearly knocking my camera out. But yeah, so mummy and me struggled with the pleats for a while. And as we're doing this, guess what? My friends are already here to pick me up. That always happens to me when I have to wear a sari. Does that happen to you guys? So yeah, after my express sari draping, I'm just quickly putting on my earrings and I'm out the door. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? All my makeup and outfit details are in the description for you guys. So check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment below with your thoughts on the look. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.